been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him, not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, presenting the challenger, Frank Time. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. All right, this is from the UFC Championship. I want you to bend up commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. He's double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight, to in the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest screen. Look, the best fight in history has happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. What a punch. Ooh, looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. And that left hook landed on the button. Trying to establish that jab once again. 
combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like a basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus bench in his opponent. Just missed with that right hand. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice kick. Uppercut lands for him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just out of range with that strike. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. What a body kick. Punches block. Just unable to quite find that range. <laughs> Trying to double up on that jab. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the rim. The jab goes out. Jab come right back to the face. It's picture perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head kick. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Oh. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. There's no give on that leg kick. Now standing in the body there. He's the taller fighter. He might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so then. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Whiffs on the elbow. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Right hand upstairs. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He has his commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Ooh, what a head kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. <laughs> Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Lands the left punch, now followed by a right. Nice body shot. And they separate. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well placed with the kick. Oh, how did he eat that uppercut? Another leg kick land. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting okay, underway. Yeah, yeah. Round one, not the round of the year Slow necessarily, guys, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be that two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. A huge elbow land on the punch. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. He's very tricky now when he throws that body kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, big left hook there! And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Great punch land. Caught that kick there. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Nice loop and punch. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It was a good night at that landed. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Lands flush with that right hand. Nice head kick. Takedown defense holds up. Look at the torso on the right. and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. That is a stiff jab. How good is that right now? Take many of those, you better check. Thank you. And he switches his stance yet again. That's a big strike right there. Big leg kick land. Straight right is there. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round.
All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're training to and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Which partner is able to relay that message to their fighter better get it the round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Big body kick land. Ooh, big shot land. Very good right hand. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Over and over, he landed a big fight. Just missing on the uppercut there. Big punch land. Ooh. with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Goes back to that left kick once again. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Beautiful body. Switching stances here. And they separate. Big head kick land. And a nice job at least to hit toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong cloud of work here, staying busy. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom line. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. 
Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to test your kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they set. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up his body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Oh, a big knee. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Lost that kick to the body. Oh, big left. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. He blocks the shot. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at the force behind oh, that oh, oh, punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh! What a fantastic strike. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. And that will do it. You got him. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.